Hi guys, Max here from ShopSolarKits.com. In today's video, we're gonna be putting together a basic solar kit. This will have a 100 watt panel, a 100 amp hour battery, an inverter, a charge controller. This video is aimed at total beginners and solar newbies. So if you're just trying to learn about solar energy, solar panels, you wanna know how it all kind of works together, then this is the video for you. You're gonna watch how all the kits and all the pieces fit together, why we have them, and then you'll watch me wire it up together. So let's get into it. So the way that a whole solar kit like this is going to work is you'll put your solar panel in the sun, that converts energy and we store that in the battery. But the way that it gets into the battery is through the charge controller. So you'll have your solar panel connected into the charge controller and then the charge controller connected into the battery. And this way you're, you're storing sunlight in your battery as usable power. Now the way to get the power out of the battery so you can run your household appliances, charge laptops, run fridges, those kind of things, is with an inverter. So you also need to connect the inverter to the battery. This way you'll have the full system working where you'll have the panel charging up the battery through the charge controller and then you're able to use the power that's in the battery with your inverter. So let's get setting this all up and that's how at high level that's how a solar system will work. First thing I'm going to be doing is cutting the cabling and stripping it so that I can put the lugs on it. These lugs here are what attach to the battery and then the other end, which will be stripped copper wire, will go into the charge controller so that we can connect the charge controller to the battery. So let's get to that now. First things first, I'm going to put the lug on. What you need to do is take off the insulation twist up the copper cabling like this so that the lug can fit on and then you need to squeeze it together we do normally suggest to put to get a proper crimping tool for this if you don't have money for one or you don't have like a an actual crimping tool you can just get a set of pliers like this and squeeze really hard until it's on properly just like it'll look like this when it's squeezed on enough so now that we've got the lug on this is called heat shrink this is not a necessary part, but I like to do it. I'm measuring it out, putting it over, and then the main heat shrink, you'll literally use heat here, and this shrinks it right onto your cabling and your lug. You can use a lighter, you can use a heat gun, but when it's done, it's gonna look a lot like this, and it's just gonna be a sleek way to hold your whole cabling together. Now what you need to do on the other side of your cable is strip it off and twist the copper together like this, uh, and this will allow it to go into the charge controller a lot easier. Now we're gonna have both sets of cables, one end with a lug, one end with straightened copper on the other side so that it can go right into the charge controller. All right, so now that we've got our cabling done properly, we've got one end that's a lug so that it can fit onto the battery terminals, and the other end is the bare copper wiring so that it can connect into the charge controller. What we need to do is wire this into the charge controller and then wire the other end onto the battery, and we should see the screen light up indicating that we've done it properly. And when you look at a charge controller, what you're going to see is a battery icon and a solar panel icon. So that's what we're focused on right now, the positive and the negative for the battery and the positive and the negative for the solar panel. So since we're doing the battery first, I'm going to wire the negative and the positive um, battery cabling into the charge controller now. So start with your negative, connect it to the battery. I'll do the positive. All right. So we are registering 13 volts. So we can see that the battery has 13 volts in it. It's charged up once the battery cables have been connected in. So let's get going on the solar panels now. All right, so the next part of the kit is going to be connecting the MC4 extension cabling to the back of your solar panel. So the solar panel are generally always marked with a 
positive and a negative. You'll see the positive and negative sign, so you'll know. Uh, also with the red O-ring is generally the positive side, the positive lead coming off the solar panel. So we're gonna take these, plug them into the extension cabling here. And the extension cabling is the exact same as the battery cable where one end here is going to connect into the panel and the other end goes into the charge controller. So let's get that going now. So let's start with the negative side first. The negative coming off the back of the solar panel. I'm going to snap that in together like this. And the other end is going to go into the charge controller. So that's negative. So we're going to make sure we put it onto the negative side. Now let's go to the positive side. I'm going to snap this together like that. Now we're going to take the leftover end, the positive end, and put this into the charge controller as well. So now that all of our cables are connected, I'm going to bring this panel and the battery. We're going to go out into the sun and see if it starts charging our battery. All right, so we're just outside the front door. Uh, it's winter time here, it's not that sunny. We're gonna go put the solar panel in the sun outside and see if we can start registering some charge going into the battery. What we have right now, as you'll see, is you can see solar panel. The solar panel input is there and the battery input is there, but there's no sun so we have nothing going in. I'm gonna go put the solar panel in the sun now and see what we get. All right, we have the solar panel out there in the sun. It's all connected into our charge controller and into the battery. So let's see what the charge controller is saying. So as you can see now, we're registering charge going into the battery, voltage is going up, and we are charging our deep cycle battery. Next thing to do is to connect the inverter so that we're able to actually use the power that's in this battery. So at this point, what we have are the batteries connected into the charge controller and the solar panel connected into the charge controller. Um, so if the sol we're in the office right now, but if we had the solar panel out in the sun, we would be actively charging our battery right now because everything's connected. What we want to do is add our inverter to our system right now so we can start using some of the power that is in the battery. So what we need to do is undo your solar panels from here um, so we can do that safely. Whenever you're messing with any of the wires between the charge controller and the battery, always make sure to undo the solar panel because if they are in the sun, they will be continually be producing energy. So you, in order to make everything safe, you're gonna to wanna to undo the solar panel cabling um, before you start messing and putting on the inverter. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So now that the solar panel lines are removed from the charge controller, we can take them off the battery as well. We always recommend a fuse, something like a bolt-on fuse or an inline fuse. I don't have one in the office right now, so I won't be doing it. I'm going to link to some photos right now for you guys to look at what they uh, what they look like. Um, and that will go in between your positive connection uh, and the beginning of your inverter. And by the way, um, for a 2000 watt inverter, something like a 175 to 200 amp fuse would be perfect for this. So let's get these connected right now. Now that these cables are connected to the inverter, it's safe to connect it to the batteries. You always want to connect the cabling to the inverter first before you connect it into the battery. I'm going to connect the negative coming out of the charge controller and the inverter back into the battery. And I've got a uh, socket wrench here to tighten it down. Now we need to connect the positive end of the inverter and charge controller into the battery. 
So now that we've connected the inverter, um, we've got the inverter connected to the battery and the charge controller, I'm going to plug the solar panel cables back into the charge controller. Now I'll plug back in the positive end of the solar panels. So we now have a fully functioning solar kit. We've got our charge controller, solar panel, inverter, and the battery. We've already explained how all this works together. The last part to do is to just see what's going to happen and see if we've connected it properly by turning on the inverter. So the inverter powers up. Let's test it here with a fan or some sort of load. And there we go. So this is a fully functioning solar kit. In the future, we'll make a video that shows you how we might mount this kind of in an RV or in a home, but this is how an entire system works together. Um, and then you can customize it based on your own needs.